Well, it's 90 plus degrees today and uh, pretty much too hot to do anything else. So I figured I'd get these Sterlings out and uh, see how they did under solar power. Never tried it before and they seem to be doing pretty well. Now the two on the on the right are contacts sterlings from the UK. The one on the far right, the red one, that's a KS90. Uh, the one you see most often. Uh, you don't see very many red ones, but you do see that size. The one in the center is a KS160, I believe. Uh, it's about double the size. The uh, base is six plus inches in diameter and the flywheel is around five inches or just under five, I can't remember. But uh, real nice running engines. Uh, probably the contacts are probably the finest uh, low temperature differential sterlings you can find. Uh, the one on the far left that is a Sterling from Singapore, I believe. Now the uh, the contacts engines, they are getting their heat off the top plate of the base. And the red one, since it's red, doesn't make as much heat as a black one. So I put that aluminum plate underneath as a heat sink for the bottom and it's uh, helping it out quite a bit. The, uh, I also did the same thing for the, the uh, Singapore engine. Um, it's a little more sensitive to the heat because the only black surface is actually the top surface of the displacer piston. And uh, when the sun goes behind a cloud, it was stopping before. Um, but it's running really well since I put that piece of aluminum underneath it. And of course the uh, large one in the center it's black so it gets quite hot. Now I also brought out this home built uh, Ross Yoke type sterling here and uh, its top plate is black but it's not as thermal efficient as the others and uh, I just couldn't get it to go today. But it does run when you give it enough heat. So I'm pretty happy with the way they're running today and uh, I hope you enjoy this video and that's going to be it for today so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.